as of right now, area roadways are smooth sailing, but come tonight and tomorrow, that could be a different story and travel could become difficult. If you don't have to be out, try to stay home if we do get the ice that they are predicting because ice is difficult for everyone. And by everyone, INDOT spokeswoman Debbie Calder says that goes for drivers and crews treating the roads. With freezing rain anticipated this weekend, travel conditions could quickly turn into a nightmare. Last month, Greater Lafayette saw firsthand the effects ice can have on roadways. After freezing rain moved in, several slide offs were reported and drivers sat for hours on I-65 as travel came to a standstill. This time around, Calder says 154 crews will be treating roads around the clock. We're going to do our part to keep the roads as clear as we can, but people have to remember, in the midst of any winter storm event, it's going to be bad and they need to reduce their speed and be responsible for driving from point A to point B safely. In collaboration with INDOT, Indiana State Police are trying to stay ahead of the game. Sergeant Kim Riley says he's hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. We got our regular troopers that are working and then there's also troopers that are going to be on standby in case needed, uh, in case the ones that are working get over overwhelmed or we just have a, a lot of problems where we need more people. His best word of advice? If you don't have to be out there driving, stay home, stay out of the roadway, stay out of your car. Tippecanoe County Emergency Management Director Smokey Anderson says it's important to have a plan at home too. We want people to make sure that they have flashlights in case they do lose power, uh, have their cell phones charged and have some kind of plan in place in case they, again, they lose their water or their, their heat and that type of thing. Now, if you'd like a real-time look at travel conditions throughout the state, you can visit our website, WLFI.com. For now, reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Brad Oppenheim, News 18.